to know myself in many different styles throughout the years. I started with expressive ac abstraction and I started painting out of necessity. Um, there was a lot of turmoil in my home and I, I picked up painting after I saw my grandpa watching Bob Ross videos um, of how to paint landscapes and ever since then I have dedicated myself to painting. Um, the style that I'm working on right now is what's brought me the most peace. Um, there is a lot more thought process that involves uh, these pieces to be completed. Um, before I was creating works that were based purely on intuition and I kind of worked with whatever I had. I did what I could with what I have, which I feel like is connected to the way I grew up. Um, and it's been a really great journey to get to this point where I'm at now, where everything I make now is, uh, kind of thought out. Um, I meditate a lot and from there I get a lot of my ideas and the ideas are coming to me, I think being fed to me through some unknown source um, that I feel like I tap into every time I listen to myself and I put time in the studio. I wanted to detach from some of the things that I've always created, um, kind of attached to why I created. Um, not abandon the fact that I'm a woman who's a lesbian, who's also an immigrant. All these things played a, a big key uh, and the work that I was making before, but recently I've kind of come to a place where I understand that something different to be real and how I'm not even my body or my mind. Um, we're way more than that. And so I'm trying to get that point across with these pieces. The subject matter is very symbolic of inner peace and it kind of represents my current state of mind. And what I aim to basically instill in others when they see my work is a feeling of peace, of knowing, this studio for about 10 years now and it has brought me much joy it's been my sanctuary uh, I live and work here in this warehouse and we have a couple leaks but other than that it's a really great place to create um, I have a lot of natural light which helps me with the paints that I'm using which are interference paints um, now these paints 
uh, they're made with uh, mica particles. And this one in particular is green blue. So it changes colors. And if you don't have the right lighting, you really can't see it the way you're supposed to. But um, because I have a lot of natural light, I feel like it reveals itself to me in such a way that it requires me to really put more time into it um, and really spend just my time with it to see how I can convey that to the viewer if they're not in a setting where they have that natural light. If you don't see the light reflecting it, then it looks transparent. So it's really kind of like an obsessive process of trying to bring attention to the piece time and time again. Um, after I draw the, the forms, then I paint them. And then after I paint an outline, then I'll go and erase them with, uh, I use a magic eraser for that. They are smaller versions of the larger paintings, but they're all a sort of language. They're all sort of um, almost like an encoded message in each piece. Um, they're all speaking of being centered, uh, mind and body. And you're going to see a lot of the duality, a lot of the colors, blue, red. At the moment, I am also creating pieces on wood that speak to the same, the same kind of concept here. Um, but these are all kind of sort of to be just thought of, of as, a, as a, some sort of message. Uh, encrypted in symbols and this here is one of the favorites that I'm working on right now um, it's not complete but the paint I'm using here is a uh, gouache and so you get this velvet like quality um, from the work that really is striking and very bold so you're gonna see a lot of that bold color throughout the body of work. If you want to see these pieces, you can check them out in Santa Fe at Strata Gallery September 13th, which is a Friday, Friday the 13th. Uh, yeah, the geometric landscapes will be there, and I'd love to have you come by and support local art.